What up, loved ones? What it do? Spot a young right here. First and foremost, I want to thank all the fucking supporters, man. Good looking out. I appreciate Like I said, real, recognized, real. I guess you guys are just some good judge of character, man. You know, you can, you can feel it all the way through this fucking screen, through this TV and shit, wherever you guys at, man. I appreciate it, man. Just want to get, get that shit out the way, but I'm still talking about CYA right now. Still talking about CYA. And trying to make you guys understand my mindset and how I was feeling and shit because I was just mad at the world during that time. I was 16 years old and I'm fucking, I got just, I just got sentenced to 14 years and two strikes, you know what I mean? So that's a long time, that's a long time, right? But yeah, but before I start with all that, let me talk about a little bit of psychology, man. Because uh, I keep talking about how, you know, right now I'm talking about how I love my folks, you know, I love my peoples and shit, this and that, and yet, I got locked up when I was a little kid at 15 for putting it work on my own people, man. So it's kind of like a hypocrisy right there. But to analyze this real quick, because I'm going to do a comparison from the streets to CYA, because they're similar. It's about gang banging and shit. That's how CYA was. Um, yeah, I believe that because the reason why, the reason why there's a lot of black on black crime brown on brown crime, Asian on Asian crime, we were just killing each other, shooting each other, man, there's like a lot of division and shit, my, my evaluation from that, you know, what I got from that, you know, throughout the years from learning, evolving to a fucking uh, different motherfucker, from reading a lot of books, studying this and that, also, from different perspectives, different books, man, you know, it's because uh, there's a lot of self-hate, there's a lot of pent up, pent up anger from us, or whatever fucking background we came from or we don't know we don't know how to balance those anger and shit you know and <clears throat> doing drugs didn't help either and shit especially like you know when you're high on everything and anything and shit you know what i mean so that didn't help either that only in, enhances and emphasize our anger and our confusion to ourself and self-hate and what i think about that is is like when you're committing for example pinoy and pinoy crime filipino and filipino crime what I'm seeing is, subconsciously, I'm talking about psychology right now, is it's like you're seeing, you're seeing yourself, the, the, the person that looks like you or the same as you. You're seeing yourself and you're seeing the bad things, all the nasty things, that, that the self-hate that you had and you're trying to eradicate that shit by trying to shoot, shoot that guy and hurt that guy. You're trying to get that, get that shit, get, get rid of that shit, get that shit away from you. And that was my mentality then. And it's a trip because my psychology or my, my evaluation from this correlates with um, the book from Black Rage, Blue Redemption from Tukey Williams. He's the, the one of the co-founder of Crips. And I, I agree with that, that theory, man, you know. So that's why there's a lot of them going on. There's, there's a lot of self-hate going on, you know what I mean? But yeah, pushing forward, pushing forward to see why it relates because CYA is also gangbanging on the streets. Except CYA, you're not high anymore. <laughs> you're not on dope. There's no fucking cigarettes to calm your ass down. You're just sober as fuck. So it, that's the real you, you know what I mean? There's no sense of false bravery in the streets. Because in the streets, it's different, man. I'm, you know, we was ready to fucking shoot people in the head. If, if you was my enemy, I'd catch you slipping. I would be more than happy to shoot you in your motherfucking head, man. That's, that's how it was, you know? That's the streets though. So fa fast forward to CYA. This was my mentality was. I'm 16 years old. I just got fucking busted. For fucking, you know, attempted murder, shooting and stabbing. I'm going to get into all that different different topic though. And I got sentenced to 14 years and two strikes. So trip out. I'm mad at the world, man. I'm mad at the world. I have a lot of fucking self-hate and fucking a lot of that shit. And, you know, fast forward back to CYA. Um, yeah, so I, I, I came over there, right, to motherfucking mainline and shit, and what do you call this? Uh, one of the Pinoy on me from the Bay, he kind of like, I saw him in school, he kind of laced me up. He's like, hey, dog, if, uh, <laughs> if I was you, go kick it with Short Dog and them, the Asian Pride car and shit, you know, because they, they're good peoples, man. I fucked up. I started riding with the with the Bay Area, so I'm with them. But you know, you still know, you still got love, you know. And I took that I took that um, 
<clears throat> that advice and I, I didn't ha I didn't actually have to take it because when I came there like I said you know earlier and shit short dog from from Fresno he was already showing me love and embracing me man you know what I mean and uh, I knew I was gonna go I was gonna go in the Pinta in the future so this is my folks you know what I mean so you know I started kicking and hanging out with them and shit and it just it went on from there but don't get me wrong I got a homie named stranger you know he he's uh, he was in there too. He was with me, but when he came in there, he was riding with the SA with the Sur. Um, he was already he was already kicking in with them at reception. He already been to uh, riots with them, racial riots with the blacks and the Mexicans. So he's already close with them. And when he, when he came to Mainline and Orange Close, he was with them already. But he's from the hood. He's from Jeff Rocks. Uh, and I'm telling you this because the mindset was, us Filipi Filipino gangs. We look at the Asian gangs like. Man, <laughs> you know what I mean? With the shit, man. That's how, how that's how it was in the streets. That's how you was thinking. You know what I mean? You you feel like you're higher. You feel like you're higher and shit. You know. But yeah, but you know this guy. He's he stranger. The homie stranger. He came in there for a fucking murder. I can't really talk about the details and shit. But he came there for murder. But he got lucky. He got juvenile life. He didn't get charged an adult. Cause if you get charged an adult for a murder. You're going in for life, the real fucking life for life till you fucking die. That's where you're going to be at. But juvenile life means you're going to get out till you're 25. This is, um, this is YA rules. This is juvenile, uh, juvenile life means it's different from adult life. It's different. Me, in my case, I got charged an adult. So it's a difference. But yeah, we're from the same hood. That's what's important because we, we got our eye at each other, man. We're at school. We're like this close. We're at school. Uh... He gets in a fight with the fucking, um, he gets in a fight with the North Day. I'll ride him a kite. Hey fool, I heard about it, man. Do you want me to get your run backs, dog? Because we can do that, because he's from the same hood. And, you know, he hears about me get, uh, get in a fight with an essay. He'll ride me a kite. He's like, hey, what's up? You want me to get your run backs? Nah, there's no need for all that, dog. Just don't worry about it, man. It's good, it's cool, it's different, because I was with the Asian Pride car and he was with the with the essay I just told him like be careful dog you know be careful cuz um, you're from Jeff Rocks you're banging Jeff Rocks homie you know what I mean so if if our enemies come co comes in pulls up uh, especially MS you know <laughs> you got no choice you got to fire on him he gonna fire on you. you you know you know how that goes just gang banging man gang banging except there's no guns there's no sense of false bravery you're sober as fuck this is the real you man you know what I mean? No guns, man. No guns. <laughs> so you know, so it's just you, man. But uh, yeah, man. So I told him, be careful, dog. But it's like, nah. Then the homies and shit. And I understand because a lot of the Mexicans, man. You know, they're they're good people too. They're Catholic background and shit, and we can relate to a lot of them. But me too. That's how I feel too, dog. But you know, this is this is kids though. This is YA. This is gang bang and shit. And um, yeah, uh, what do you call this? But yeah man so anyways you work out at your own risk this, I got I got notes where I'm looking at it because a lot of shit happened I can make a part 2 part 3 part 4 fucking this why shit but I got these notes right here you, you work out at your own risk you work out at your own risk meaning like you know don't fucking work out too much to the point where you can't even fight anymore because at, at that given moment somebody calls you out and you fucking worked out too much you can't really punch motherfucker that's all on you you're gonna get beat up and shit you know that that was my mindset back then that was my mindset back then and uh yeah every day every day you gotta watch out every day you gotta watch out because you don't know who's gonna pull up like i said if your enemy pulls up you ain't got no choice you ain't got no choice you know you gotta take off right away it's on site until somebody gets shipped off to a different institution every fucking time that's how it goes and uh let's see when you go to the hole, right? When you go to the hole, uh, when you when you get in a fight, before when I got there, when you get in a when you get one fucking fight, when I got there, um, 2004, they'll 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 uh, you'll stay there for the whole day until the next day, then you'll come back out to fucking um, to the dorm, back to the dorm. But it changes, it changes, cause you know. Now they only lock you up for a fucking couple of hours and shit and then you get, come back out. You come back out and shit. So 
that's how the hole was. But before that, when I was at the fucking hole, this is how it works over there in the hole. Whoever was in the hole, the longest, whoever was in the hole, the longest, usually he's the one that does the fucking roll call. See, what happens is, they call your, they call your cell number, your room number. And, for example, they call fucking room one. Hey, so they'll, 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 they'll do a roll call and shit. They'll, they'll call room one. Hey, room one, where the fuck you from? And then room one will answer like, I'm from Wooty Woo Woo Woo, Wooty Woo 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 Gang, Wooty Woo 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 This. They call me this. And then you wait for a moment, listen to the tear, listen, listen to the hole. If somebody shouts at you like, pop, 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 then that means you got the fight coming when you get out. That's, that's Mando, it's Matic and shit. But if you say your shit and nobody fucking said anything, then that's cool. You, you skip to the roll call to the next cell. And then the next cell you, you call room two. Room two, where the fuck you from? With the, no, fast forward. This is what I say when they go to my, when, when, they, when they talk about my cell. Like, for example, I'm in fucking cell five. In room five, where the fuck you from? West side, Jeff, Frogs, Gangs, Paul, Brass, Click, Valley side, 818, they call me youngster. Then I wait. Then I wait. And uh, I always got, I always got this enemy. In YA, you always got somebody that you always fucking fight with, man. <laughs> somebody that don't like you, somebody you don't fucking like. In this case, there's a, 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 a essay dude. For some reason, he didn't like me shit. You know what I mean? But I don't give a fuck. It is what it is, you know? He want to choose me as his, as his enemy and, you know, I guess, whatever and shit, dog. But, uh, you know, he shot at my hood and shit. All right, for sure, that's, that's Mando. So as soon as we get out, we have to get down. But he goes back and forth. He goes back and forth. He calls me out. I fight him. And then I get my run back. So he calls me out. Uh, 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 I call him out and he ain't got no choice. But you gotta, we gotta get down. We got down like five times, this guy, man. We got down five times, and every single time, the whole, the, uh, uh, every single time, the whole five times that we got down, he ended up fucking leaking, man. Every single time, leaking from his nose somewhere. You know, I, I'm not saying like, you know, I got super hands. I'm just a fucking normal dude. But for some reason, this guy, man, he just stay leaking, and he always say. That was a lucky punch. <laughs> that was a lucky punch, but hey, you know, you guys judge for yourself. But you know, it's, it, it is what it is. You know, that's why ain't shit. Um, fucking uh, yeah. That that you know, your mind is dark, man. You're at war and shit. All you do is just fucking train, do your fucking push-ups and shit. You're trying to get stronger, you get better punches. They had a uh, they had a black cop over there and uh he likes me for some reason he always trying to talk to me he's he trying to teach me how to box hey for when you box you do this you do that and then listen because i'm open-minded you know so i'm trying to learn a little few things or two but you know what i mean because I, I, some of this some of this some of this folk some of some of them folks they're just like naturally big too maybe they were just born like that or Maybe they were just working out harder than everybody else, but I was just like a normal guy. And I'm saying this because there was another Pinoy homie, the one that I mentioned, that was riding Bay Area, but he's still Pinoy pride though, but he was with the blacks with the Bay Area. And I'm, I am seen that for getting down with black folks bigger than him, and that fool got hands too. And that Pinoy fool that I was talking about, I forgot what I forgot what he was like, what he was like, his like, because there's so many different kinds of, maybe, of Filipinos. Maybe it was like Ilocano or something, or Ifuga, or some of those fucking fools that just got that warrior blood in them, you know what I mean? Fucking uh, the Lapu Lapu blood. This our fucking, one of our fucking old school warrior ancestor heroes and shit, Lapu Lapu. And uh, he just, his chest is cool, man. His chest was already formed like a, like, like he got the black jeans and shit, man. And what do you call this? Yeah, like I said, I'm, I've seen him getting down, but. You know, that's the guy that fucking uh, was lacing me up. He was just looking out for me and shit, you know. But he was like, he's in the picture that on my, my thumbnail. It was like on the, the, on, the, on, the, on the side. He was, he was the homie and shit. But he, we were on the same building. We were on the same building. Um, let me talk about the fucking first fucking riot and shit, right? Inside the building. So, 
anyways we're just chilling at the day room right chilling at the day room and shit and fucking uh yeah just eating our little fucking noodles you know if 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 you're if you're a homie you can eat with everybody else same bowl same fucking spoon it don't matter you guys are homies man and right on during that time blue dog was there short dog was there pigeon was there and during that time we got the Naughty homies man they got that beef going on with the south side you know how that shit goes how she goes all the way back but uh what do you call this yeah so imagine this during that time that was short that was short dog the mong homie he only had fucking one good leg because he uh, he broke his leg so he's like walking around with with that cut with the cast the shit that you know or you put on your elbow and shit the cast man <laughs> he was walking around with that he got one good leg but still he had no choice because they already talked about it they already said that check it out locked all the doors in the fucking day we're gonna kick this shit off later on tonight you know what i mean so what happened was uh the the blacks they weren't involved because this was the the beef within the north end the fucking south side and the bulldogs you know and uh what do you call this so there you go at night time one sa one north and started getting down in the middle of the day room first in the middle of the day room then everybody jump in they start jumping in the north they do and then short dog was like the first one to get up i didn't get up yet i'm like still looking around and shit short dog was the first one to get up limping i remember this that fool was limping because he only had one fucking <laughs> leg like i said because the other leg was in it wasn't cast and i just see short dog just fucking drop the fucking uh essay dude man with the fucking one leg and then he started getting down and i had no choice but to back the homie up man so I get in, I get in the middle of the day room too, getting, getting, getting a cracking too, and the homies, everybody in there, everybody in there. This is what's, a, this is a small day room. This is like, uh, two classrooms together or something like that. But there was a lot of us in there and shit. You can imagine probably like 40, 50 people or maybe even more. And it was, comp you know, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know, if you can, if if you've been there, you've seen how the the day room looks like. It's not that big, so it's very compact up there and just kicking off right there for a long fucking time. And sure enough, the um, the SA dude that, that don't like me for some reason, he chose me again. He saw me. I, started, I was getting down with him over there the whole time and shit, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And but yeah, uh, everybody was doing their thug tizzle and shit. You got motherfuckers trying to fucking stab with pencils and shit, you know. And then people that, that, that knew how to use a pack, that's when you put the fucking soap bar in a fucking sock. You use that as a weapon. You call it a fucking pack. People was using that and shit. It was kicking off until uh, they called the fucking security and they fucking start spraying everybody inside the motherfucking thing, inside the day room. And it was, there was no oxygen coming in. So the, the, the mace, all the pepper spray stayed in that fucking room. So that motherfuckers couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe, man. Because <laughs> cause, cause while I was getting down, he sprayed me right in front of my fucking face. And as, as I was breathing, I fucking uh, inhaled that shit. I had a good fucking whiff of that shit. <gasps> and I started, I couldn't breathe no more. So I just grabbed that fool and just threw that fool. And, and, and then fucking I uh, started crawling, trying to crawl outside, man. From the fucking air, trying to get some oxygen. That's just what I remember, man. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> I remember fucking crawling outside and then even the blacks that wasn't even involved the bay area crips and bloods they were just watching they were they they got maced too there everybody fucking couldn't breathe on that fucking there they were getting out i remember this because they were they, everybody was crawling outside to, to where, where the oxygen was at and they were just like hey and blood i can't fucking breathe man and blood and then fucking their nose full of snot you know, at this point, we already got cuffed. We already got cuffed, man. And then, uh, you know, fucking everybody was just like, man, <laughs> fuck, man. You know, can't breathe. Can't breathe. And what's funny, what, the funny thing is, there's a, there's a Norte homie right there and shit. I forgot his name, Shark Stato and shit. San Jose or something. After the kickoff, after, the, after that little kickoff happened in the dorm, 
He was giving me hella props. Hey, I saw you, youngster. You was doing this, you was doing that. You know? Maybe that's what he imagined on his head. But I wasn't doing all that. I'm, I'm thinking in my head like, all right, for sure, man. I'm just agreeing, dog. <laughs> I'm happy that's what you think. But, you know, the whole time, I, I only fought like, I only fought that one dude that I'm talking about and just a couple fools that I didn't even recognize because this shit, shit was already fucking with too many people, man. But, yeah, man, you know, that's what he was thinking of me. I guess he was thinking highly of me and shit. But, yeah, there's a lot of those, man. There's a lot of fucking rides, one-on-ones. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna get boring. I talk about I, I I got done with almost everybody and shit. Black, Crip, Blood, Bay, uh, what do you call this? Southside, Norte. I got done with Norte too. With Asians too. I got done with everybody. This is how it is. This is fucking gang banging. Why is gang banging? This is not the pinta, man. You know what I mean? It's crazy. You you seen that movie Spartacus? It's like just just like that movie and shit, except it's real. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody, every day, fucking motherfuckers training, training. You know, uh, with your homies, you're fucking playing body shots, body shots every fucking day. You try to toughen yourself, and then uh, you play. Um, we play this little thing on a fucking sock. You roll the one sock. And you put it. You put it inside another sock, and then you use that as a pack and then we play with each other every fucking time we call it homie don't play that homie don't play that homie don't play that man <laughs> that's what we're doing it and then um and it's crazy over there fucking uh you can you can bust a fake ass nutty whenever you want busting a fake ass fake ass nutty means like if you just like feel like acting out like fucking busting a fake nutty like i don't give a fuck call the police man you know because you know the regular staff inside the building they can't handle you no more so they have no choice but to call the fucking security security pulls up goes in the fucking dorm and then uh, they'll talk trying to talk to you first um, in a civilized way hey what's wrong man and then sometimes you can they, you know sometimes they'll talk him out of it and they'll just put him in the lockup real quick for a couple hours till he comes down and some fools are crazy over there, man. They go in the fucking lock up and they start kicking the door and shit. It's little kid shit, man. It's fucking YA and shit. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, like I said, I was I was saying before my other shit. I had those moments too, and I just feel like busting a fake ass nutty, like I did. I called the fucking police out, called his bluff, and I got the fucking Irish Spring soap on the fucking sock. You know, if you fight back, I had no choice. I really had to fucking firing him luckily he ran back to the office but i was chasing him with a fucking pack and shit it's called busting a fake ass nutty and shit just we just trying to act hard man so for that's for intimidation everybody in there fucking trying to intimidate everybody that's how ya was you know what i mean um that's what i was just mad at the world that's that's what i was feeling at the time and what do you call this a lot of shit going on man i can make a part two part three part four of this shit but I'm gonna keep it pushing though. I'm gonna keep it pushing so I can move on to the fucking next topic and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I caught a, I caught a gang of points. I caught a gang of points. That's the reason why I ended up in fucking Pelican Bay, my first mainline prison in, C in CDC. Cause I caught all, I caught all the points and why it just accumulated. You know what I mean? And that's what I think, dog. You know. Oh, by the way, before I forget, what I was mentioning earlier, the homie stranger from the hood. The one that was hanging out, that was riding with the with the with the suit. Sure enough, when he turned 18 or whatever and shit, when he got shipped out to motherfucking YTS, I I, I knew it too. I told him like the MS find out where the fuck you're from, they're gonna try to fucking get you, dog. And they did. You know he was at the showers and shit. You know and they trying to stab him. They trying to stab him over there. I don't know the exact details and shit, but uh, that's what he that's what he told me. I'm still in touch with the army right now. You know, uh, yeah, they try to stab him, dog. You know, that's just that's it's gang banging over there. That's that's how YA was. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget, my first fucking visit over there. I, I feel bad. I feel bad. On my first visit over there, my fucking family they drove all the way from LA. You know, it's a six hours drive all the way to Stockton just to visit me. And 
you know, they vi when, when they visited me during that time, we we're just chilling at the visit, and my mom noticed this uh, uh, Mexican dude, and he had this, he had he had this fucking black eye in his fucking face, or you know, it's dark right here. And she told me like, "Fuck, like it's crazy right here, man," you know. Fucking um, look at that kid. And I turned around and I looked at the kid. I was like, "Oh shit, that's that, that's that dude I got down with." I didn't, I didn't know that's what happened to his eye, man. I, I told, I told my folks, like, "Hey, that's you know, I got down with that dude, but you know, but what he doesn't know is my lip, my lip is fucking busted here in the in, in the inside." And I showed my folks, like here, like this, that shit was busted, man. But he doesn't. Nobody knows that because you can't see it. I mean, and then uh, you know, my mom, she's trying to, she's trying to put up a front of, you know, trying to be brave for me and shit. But I found out later on, my brother told me like, "Hey, fool, fucking mom." After we left the visit, fucking mom is crying and shit, man. I feel bad for you or fucking, you know, cause that's how it is, man. When you're locked up and you got, you got a mom that lo that loves you, man. They're doing time too, so think about fucking going to jail, going to prison, dog. Stop fucking doing drugs and shit. Don't be stupid. Fucking replay this shit. Listen to this shit, man. Unless you, unless you want this shit, dog. This shit, it's a waste of time, man. Go fucking read books, study. You know what I mean? Cause this on a society, they don't fucking, you know, they look down on the motherfuckers that got criminal record, man. People that are judgmental, like I said, dog. You know what I mean? Think about it, fool. But uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of things happen. Let me know if you guys want want some more shit. I'm gonna keep it pushing though. Um, you got any questions? Let me know. I want to thank all my fucking supporters, man. You know, they fucking showing love and shit. I want to thank all y'all, man, for the bottom of my heart, dog. And uh, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna keep it pushing and shit. Um, yeah, this was this was this was what happened in fucking CYA. There's a lot of shit going on over there. I'll keep, go through the whole list. But like I said, keep it pushing. You know, say what you mean and mean what you say, cause real recognize real homeboy. Good looking out. Good looking out.